All right, Bray and I are eating lunch. Oh, good afternoon, by the way. I haven't turned on the camera all day, but uh, I have my salad that I made. So I didn't do chicken. I did eggs instead of chicken. And it's just a, you know, garden salad. Bray's, Bray's over there eating her lunch like a psycho. Don't don't worry about her hair, y'all. She's going to get her hair come before school. Um... Yeah, so we're gonna take time to. We've been. I've been meeting all morning, so I'm gonna take time to uh, meet. I mean, start decorating my class after I finish this last section of planning for environmental in the afternoon. And I guess I'll show y'all a little bit of that. And I have my helper here, so she'll help me do that. I just have to get my tables down, so I don't feel like doing that part. I have to find someone to put these tables down. So yeah, I'm finishing my lunch and do some planning, and that's it. August 12th, Thursday, August 12th, but she just has to roll with me because she can't stay home by herself, so she's been getting her little butt up to get back into the uh, swing of things a bit earlier, which is kind of an advantage because when she goes back, she won't be as tired. Bray, were you tired yesterday? All day, or just like when you, when you go home? Were you sleepy at all yesterday during the day? No. Really? Yeah. Uh, Cause you. Hmm. You said on like a dime. Yeah. What does that mean? Girl, y'all hear this slang? These kids be. Wow, only like a dime. I never heard that before. I do have my smoothie I made this morning. I did work out. So that's the best part about getting to going back to work is that I'm able to get back into a routine, y'all. It's been a struggle over the summertime trying to wake up and work out. I'm actually proud of myself of how much I did accomplish over the summer. Um, it wasn't like the best, but I didn't just completely not work out, if that makes sense. So, I'm just happy to be back into a routine. I'm saying that now, but the school year is about to get super hectic. I'm actually running a little behind, and I have a meeting about freshman camp, which is, which is all next week. So, ah. all right. I don't want to. I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide Here's a little inspirational wall I was working on. I just printed pictures in black and white and then just put some of the, you know, the bulletin border around. I don't like how I have to put the staples in, 
but I think I'm gonna try to fix it. But I really don't feel like doing all that. I may just leave it. It's fine. Get the point. Looks good. All right, y'all. So wrapped up. I'm wrapping up for the day, but this is what I got done. I got the welcome science sign, and then I redid these quotes over here. Let's see. So I usually just put a bunch of inspirational quotes on the on the cabinet over here. Just, you know, sometimes if they do on work and they look over, sometimes they may need that little picker-upper. Um, so I just try to stick with neutral tones and then highlight it two of them in pink. This is cheap, simple, easy ways to decorate your classroom. So, you know, just some quick, simple ideas. And I want to show you guys this. This is my vocab wall. So you just print out words that you know that your kids are going to learn in science, put them in sheet covers, and then every day at the end of class, you pick a word and they have to go over it because I teach a star-tested star subject, so that way it just keeps them refreshed. And I'm going to put a border around it tomorrow. But I'm tapping out today, y'all. I'll clean up all this tomorrow. Got my little work over there. Um, I guess I'll get her some Ro a Ro Roblox card and put these signs up tomorrow, finish that board tomorrow, wipe off my board tomorrow, and then put up my outside border. But I'm calling it a day today. And yeah, y'all, so I'm really happy with how this came out. It came out really, really good. I just, the borders could be better, y'all, but I'm not gonna, mm -mm, I can't try to sit here and try to perfect that. It's good enough. <laughs> Y'all, we've been working. Look at me. I am sweating. Sweating all of my makeup off. But this is what we got done so far. Showed y'all this yesterday. Added stuff to the board. I started on the bulletin board in the room over there. Let me focus. That's done. Hung up some posters. More so organization. Finished the vocab wall. So it's daily vocab. And... I cleaned out this cabinet. This cabinet, it still may look a little, mm, but all of this was full. I gotta put in some of these papers over here on those tables and that table that I have to go through. And finish cleaning off this desk, finish this up, and what time is it? Got about another hour, so. Ooh. Oh no, Uncle Mark me an hour ago and I didn't see it. It's hot, okay. I don't know what's going on with this lighting, but we got about another hour, so get some more stuff done within this hour, and then, whew, and then start back on doing some academic stuff, but I just want to get this room done today, like, get it done today. That's it. All right, y'all, I am off of work, and I actually came with Mark to run an errand really quick, um, and I'm trying to figure out Excuse me, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do for about dinner. Because it's 6.57. And, um, yeah. I mean, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think what I want to do, y'all. Um, I don't know. We were going to try to go on, like, a little date. But I don't know how much longer he got. And then it's, like, almost, like, getting a little too late not to cook but i guess i don't know i guess i just end up cooking i think what i'm gonna do is i think i'm gonna put an order at juicy seafood for a pound of shrimp and then make that with vegetables like a little vegetable bowl cheat system because i don't have any shrimp at home um that's what i'm about to do all right so that's the plan then i'm just gonna order juicy seafood and um the shrimp and i'll go home and i'll make it in like a stir fry i thought that they had it to where you could get it um get it uh peeled but she said that they don't have it peeled so that's fine i'll just do the peel on myself I'm trying to try not to eat uh too bad y'all but I will say the best part about going back to work is getting back into a routine. I think I said that before earlier in the vlog, but it is getting back into a routine. So I'm very excited about that part because I know school is about to start beating me up because it's already so many changes daily. On a daily, how many changes? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe, 
Okay, hold on, my mind's racing right now. Would it be easier just to grab like Chick-fil-A? Like a salad? No, let me just go home and just do what I would do. That's what I, I really So I forgot to tell y'all, our plan, my plan got shut down to go get the shrimp from Juicy Seafood. So we end up going to um, eat at Camp Campuzano's, I think that's what it's called. And uh, yeah, or get one of the shrimp, the boule shrimp with veggie stir fry, which is still going to be good because the shrimp from Juicy Seafood is really good. made it in. What time is it? 8.20. It's 8.24. So right now, let's see what's on my to-do list. Here's my agenda. I bought this from Target. I bought it like, I think the end of, no, like the beginning of the summer. Okay, let's see here. All right, so I need to finish all my biology lessons. So I told you guys earlier this week I was working on environmental lessons. I finished those. So I need to finish my biology lessons. I need to put in my lesson plans. Um, check on Google Classroom and print some stuff out. So um, our school is supposed to have like a bunch of freshmen this year. Every year, freshman is the biggest class, but the freshmen are supposed to be extremely, supposed to be an extreme amount of freshmen this year. So, extreme amount of freshmen this year. So, um, I like using Google Classroom, but we may have a shortage on computers. So, that may be a little bit of a problem, but whatever. So, I need to go print. Um, and then, I think I'm done with my classroom, you guys. I don't think I need to do anything else. Let's see. I'm done with it. I'm done with it for the most part. I haven't bought anything new. So everything that I have set up has been completely free. Only thing that I bought this year was the black border um, that I put around my bulletin boards and the little picture frames I showed y'all. That's the only thing I bought this year. Everything else I already had and then the pictures I printed off at school. So nothing is... Um, I didn't spend money this year. I think the border was about $12. So, yeah, that's it. I wasn't have to utilize what I had trying to be um, economical. And I think I did, I did pretty good to not have spent any money. So, that was the goal. But let me go ahead and get started because this biology will probably take me the rest of the day. And then I'll have a meeting later. And so, yeah. Good morning, just checking in. Bray's so creative, she made these little stress balls. It's a balloon. Ugh, I hate the balloon sound like that. The squeaky, y'all know that sound. Yeah, so she made these little clay stress balls, but um, very creative. She made two of them. She made a red one and she made a pink one. And they're actually therapeutic, but I just don't like the texture and the sound of the balloon, like when I squeeze it, but they're very good. Very, very good. This one, yeah, it does it too. Yeah, uh-uh. I told her she can leave them in, like maybe a student would like to play with it or something. But yeah, I got all my lesson plan done for biology, and I'm about to go ahead and start uploading my lesson plans into Edgeforia. Edgeforia is where we put in our digital like lesson plan, like what we're gonna be teaching. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Let me show y'all though. So this is what they look like. So I have what I'm teaching. As you can see, I have the dates, um, and I mapped that out for the school year actually. Um, so I know everything that's going on because lesson plans is the last thing that I want to stress about during the school year. It's like when you do it this way, when you just take out the time to 
actually do it. Last thing I just need to finish is actually the 6 6 Witch, which is just like review for the star. But um, yeah, I know this seems like probably like tedious and it was, but it's definitely worth it in the end. And of course, some things may need to be tweaked, changed around, added, and that's fine. But at least you have the gist of what you're doing for the school year. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in edge for you. Hold on, you have to see those though. Our, so this is our damage for today, y'all. You said you got one brushes. I'm gonna show uh, Adidas. Bray got some Crocs. Oh, these are Leah's Crocs. Leah picked these out. Oh, they're cute. The little foot. And then she got the little pieces to go inside of them. I'll tell you about that. That was an experience. Bray's Crocs. What color do you think her Crocs are? Rainbow. You tell me rainbow. I didn't say what color. No, I did not. I never told you color. It's not rainbow. Take another guess. I would say blue, but that's too loud. Um, pink. Oh, tie-dye. That's her. Mm-hmm. They have like some pink color rainbow ones, but you know, she didn't want those ones. They had too much pink in them. I got some Air Forces. What color do you think these are? Black. Pink. Oh, black and pink. <laughs> right on. Aren't those so cute? Mm-hmm. They're lovely. Those are cute, right? And did you look at my Converse? Yeah, I seen them. You see what color they were? Them Hermes oh, Monster man. shoes. Aren't these so freaking cute? They're olive green. You can't tell the camera, but they're olive green. I have never seen the olive green ones till today. Granddaddy. Got me some perfume. Granddaddy got me. I've been trying to get this for like the past five months. Well, I didn't know I bought perfume. Yes, you did. I was on the phone with you. Oh, I didn't know what you had for the What's that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's in this bag? Oh, this is good. Okay, so these forces. Yeah. Alright, y'all, my last purchase of. My shopping spree is, oh, you put that, that in there? What? I just got two other perfumes. This one is the spring, yeah, what is this one? Yes. It's, it's called Shine, my bad. Okay, it's called, it's called Dolce and Gabbana Shine. And then I just got the rose. Remember I told y'all, I wanted the rose a long, long, long time ago when I got the other one. Um, so I just went and got this one too because this one was only 100 and this one was 120, so it wasn't that bad. Um, I want the Valentino. My mom got the Valentino and I'll get that one maybe for my birthday or something like that. But that's it, y'all. She did give me a sample of the Valentino, the other one. Microsource. I don't know if it is. Yeah. So this one smells good. It's nice and they both smell good, honestly. Yeah, her uncle are over there baking a cake. Lee, are you helping? Yeah. 